The whole successful Nigerian tour seems to be such a disturbance, you know, to the royal family. And we're like, mm -hmm. that's that's the main reason for, you know, Harry and Meghan's moves, Harry and Meghan's out and about engagements, Harry and Meghan's tour. It's basically to make them just realize that Harry is out of them. Harry is no longer part of them, Meghan the same. I have a story with me here, which has a title, which states, according to Royalist, the Sussex as doing a freelance royal tours is a nightmare for the palace. Yes, they are self-employed. And the fact that it's a nightmare for, you know, the palace, we're like, yeah, it should be. Because everything they predicted, everything they anticipated for that wouldn't happen to the Duke and the Duchess of Sussex, it turned out to be, it's actually the opposite. Because everything they thought won't happen is now happening. Yes, they are a freelance, but not doing any royal tours. They, are not, they made it clear to the public that Harry and Meghan are nana, nana, working royals. Yes, they stepped down in the year 2020 and they were very much okay. And from my own perspective, I'm always like, that's among us the best decisions they ever made. That's among us the best, like literally the best decisions they ever made. At least now they don't have to deal with mental health. They don't have to deal with the trolling, waiting for them at their gate on daily basis. Like them stepping out of the UK was kind of an opening door thing. And that's why everything of theirs stand out just to end up successful each and every single time. Just allow me to take you through the article written by Kazir and let's get to see what Kazir had to say about the same. One thing has been made abundantly clear this month. The war is not just between Prince William and the Tsar success. More than four years after the Tsar success left, King Charles and Camilla are still actively briefing against the Tsar successors and working against them. They've never accepted the fact that, you know what, Harry and Meghan changed everything. The cycle that they were so much used to see it, that is Meghan brought that to an end. And that's why I always say they are still in so much denial with the fact that Harry is there. With the fact that Meghan is still, they are still together in short. Their marriage is still intact. They, they, they have thought that they'll run in terms of, they'll run short in terms of finance. But it turns out they are rising. And I remember covering a story of Harry and Meghan at the moment, so much work and into entering in the billionaire era. It might sound obvious, but for it might sound obvious, but for much over the past year, Buckingham Palace has tried to position Charles as you know above the fray and open to reconciliation thing. That's over. Charles and Camilla do not want reconciliation. They do not want to see the star success whatsoever. And they are absolutely furious that the star success got such a positive, such a positive reception in Nigeria. And I bet we've seen this in the past few days. Um, the Daily Best Royalist column have just been getting that message for weeks now. They've been covering it over and over again. It's kind of, that's now their talking point, I guess. That's now their talking point. And I'm like, you know what? You better get ready for even more and worse. Because there's no single place Harry and Meghan will dare step foot and they get a bad, a bad reception or a bad treatment or a bad welcoming. Because they themselves are just incredible what they've done and the fact that they're not racist because for the rest of the other royals we all can tell that they are racist they do judge people according to status quo they do judge people according to race they do judge people according to 
standards i can say that's where they go wrong but you know what they won't know it or they won't say it not until when their downfall has gotten to them in quote but of course the vast majority of the world is ignorant of such distinction and regard harry and megan as every beat as a representative of the royal family as william and charles so if thus viral foreign tours becomes a regular thing it could muddy the waters let it be if that's the case then we like so big it because harry and megan are not stopping if it's uh harry and megan stew or they are going to muddy the water let's see how far it uh, gets yeah people might think that the windsors are desperately trying to approach they are trying to appropriate some of Sussex's beauty, charisma, and international popularity. The problem is not that people see the Sussexes on tour and think they are still part of the Windsor clan. The problem is that the Sussexes overseas success remind people that the Windsors were foolish, racist, and short-sighted to exile those two rock stars out of jealousy. They were short-sighted. They were just stupid, foolish, racist to see this or to see them having gotten successful to this particular extent. That's what people see when they see Harry and Meghan. And now that they are not being funded by any taxpayer money, that's even making matters worse they're doing things they are doing a lot like literally a lot so for them getting pissed off because of harry and megan's success hoping to be in their shoe at some point i'm like you know that's a nightmare you people shouldn't wish to wake up from because you can never be them because you are nothing like them they portray different characters, different identities, different personalities to what Harry and Meghan have. And that's why probably people hate them. On the other side, love Harry and Meghan. We can't love them any less. I always say Harry and Meghan have got less power within them. But the last power they have is the same exact power that they tend to use to always want to make this world a better place for everyone to fit in. They really do try. But either way, let's see how it goes. For them, just being so much uncomfortable. Because according to the Royalists, the Sussex is doing freelance world tour is a nightmare for the parlors. I'm like, just keep dreaming. Because it's never, it's not going to stop any time soon. And I always say, basically, the parlors, the Windsors, the entire royal family at large most especially those who were against Starry and Megan are at the moment reaping what they saw. The hurt that they are, you know, kind of reaping from the public or from people, it's simply because of the actions of theirs that they put in place during or according to how they were cheating Harry and Megan. That's by my own perspective. I don't know what's your take on this. Kindly just let me know your thoughts on the comment section. Hoping to see you guys in our next video.